The dancer with the least amount of votes is... Oh. I'm freaking out here. Ms. Moth. Oh. To the rest of you, congrats. We'll see you in two weeks at the Super Six. Ms. Moth. That means, Ms. Moth, you are not advancing, but we do finally get to reveal your secret famous identity. But first, let's have the panel each ask a question before they make their final guesses. They need all the help they can get. Brian, you first. How would your friends describe you? Kind, genuine, caring. Aw. Are you taller than Ken? <laughs> <laughs> I am taller. Yeah, I think oh. that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. Paula. Do you have brown hair? No. Oh. <laughs> Do you play any musical instruments? Yes. Oh. Oh. Blonde and music? Please, America's favorite, KJ. Have you ever been on stage in front of thousands of people? Yes. Well, let's see if that helped. Time to hear our panel's final guesses. Brian! Okay, so, um, last performance in Clue Package, I was really stuck on the, the White House with Paula, and this woman is the ultimate survivor. She's met with the presidents, she stood in front of Congress and tried to change protection laws for children. So I'm sticking with Elizabeth Smart. Ashley. So last time I thought it was Megyn Kelly, but hear me out, I think it's an artist. I think it's a singer. Plays musical instrument, probably guitar, and I'm guessing is blonde. I am gonna have to go with Jewel. She also has a bestseller, so I'm really hoping it's you, Jewel. Sure. Well, this person, she was someone who made headline news with DC and the president, and I noticed the dates on the line. Megyn Kelly was on Dateline, yeah. and I feel very strongly that it's Megyn Kelly. Ken. Okay, White House Clue last time, and this person married to Josh Kushner and making headlines. I still think it's supermodel Carly Kloss. And Carly Kloss is also taller than me. Than you. P -p -p Paula! Okay, what I saw in the performance is she's not a trained dancer, but she felt into the choreography nicely. Salt, salty. Kathy Griffin. She had a major, major scandal with the president. That's true. So I'm going with Kathy Griffin. Okay, panel, you have made your final guesses. Let's see if any of you are right. Audience, let's all encourage Ms. Moth to take it off. 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 Take it all! 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 Elizabeth Smart! <laughs> Activist, speaker, and oh, best-selling author. My God! Brian, you called Elizabeth Smart! Wow! Listen to I me, can't okay? I believe that. I'm not good at this game, but I told you I had a feeling about this Yes, you did. So, Elizabeth, what was it like being Miss Moss? It was so much fun. I mean, such a different experience. Can I just say that for what you've dealt with in your life, you have been an inspiration for so many people, and you've done so much good with a really difficult situation, and we need more people like you on the planet, and, and thank you. Thank you. Let me ask you a quick question. I saw the number 286 in your package. What was that for? Because I testified on behalf of a child safety bill, 286. Oh, that's amazing. So 
Elizabeth, why did you decide to enter this competition? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such a baby. You're amazing. You want to hand the hope? Yes, I would. <laughs> um, my grandma actually passed away Aww. very recently. But she was so much fun. She never let a moment pass her by. And so when this opportunity came along, I thought, I live a pretty serious life. And I'm going to take this opportunity and just have fun. Great job, Elizabeth Smart. Let's hear it one more time, y'all. 